microservices has been one of the most popular architectural patterns in the last decade or so. And containers and container orchestration, Docker and Kubernetes have played a very, very important role in this evolution. In this video, let's discuss that in depth. Now, let's go back 10 years back. We were talking about large monolith applications, and this is where microservices changed the game. With microservices, we have reduced the deployable unit to a small unit. Instead of deploying one large application, we are deploying multiple small applications. Thereby, you can independently release this and you can continuously innovate. At least that's what was the thought process behind the evolution of the microservices architecture. And during this evolution, what we have realized is there are two very, very important things with respect to microservices. One is standardization. There are a lot of aspects with respect to microservices. It's not just about writing code. You'd want to be able to deploy them. You'd want to be able to observe them, look at the logs, look at the tracing and a lot of related things. So you'd want to standardize the technology around these microservices. And the second part, which is very, very important as well, is that you need a lot of technology infrastructure to support microservices. You'd need centralized configuration. You'd need API gateway. You would need a naming server. So there is a need for standardization and there is a need for technology infrastructure as well. And that's where Docker and Kubernetes, container and container orchestration play a key role. Docker enables standardization. It does not matter which language you use to de develop your microservice, whether it's Java, whether it's Python, whether it's Node, you can create a Docker image and you can treat that the same way. This standardization also applies when it comes to observability. If you want to get the logs out of it, you'd want to get metrics, you'd want to get tracing out of the specific container image. By having a container image, you can standardize everything. So with respect to microservices, the need for standardization was made simple by containers. And that's why you would see that containers have grown a lot in the last few years. And another thing which developed in parallel was container orchestration. The most popular container orchestration tool, we all know it, right? It's Kubernetes. Why has Kubernetes become popular? Because it provides the technology infrastructure that is needed to run your microservices. If you'd want naming server, or if you'd want a service registry, that kind of feature is inbuilt into Kubernetes. If you'd want an API gateway, you can implement a service mesh with Kubernetes. If you'd want tracing, logging, centralized logging, and a lot of other features, this can be implemented using the service mesh feature in Kubernetes. Therefore, the two aspects of microservices which are really challenging, standardization and the technology infrastructure, are somehow made simple by containers and container orchestration. And that's why I think Docker and Kubernetes are really getting popular. Probably Docker is not the only container format today. There are other container runtimes which are available. So containers and container orchestration are two of the enablers for microservices architectures.